Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to zoom and pan on the screen. You know that Filmora, Filmora 9 has a very interesting zoom and pan features and I use it all the time. I use it for my uh, travel video and also use it for my tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to zoom and pan on the, scr on the screen with my tutorial video. So you know that last time, uh, Yesterday, yeah, yesterday I published a video a tutorial about uh, Filmora screen recorder and now I'm currently using Filmora screen recorder to record my video. It's a um, good one, good one, but not the, the most professional one, but it's uh, good enough. So now I'm going to uh, jump into the software and I'm sh I will show you my tutorial. So I will show you just step by step how I, I do the zoom and pan effect on, my, uh, on, on the screen, okay? Okay, so this is the timeline. So this is my tutorial timeline. So it looks a, a little bit messy. We have the background track and my audio and also video. And this is the screen recording. So we take this screen recording, for example. Okay. And for example, right here, when I'm talking. And then I want to zoom into uh, this part. Yeah, firstly, I need to split it. And we select and put the player head where we want to split. And then uh, hit this split button or you can press ctrl B on your keyboard okay and we split it here and now we go to crop and, uh, crop and zoom so we go to yeah before it crop and zoom but now it's just crop but actually it's crop and zoom tool okay uh, we select on that and now we select on pan and zoom now we have pan and zoom so we have uh, we have this uh, this line is start starting point starting uh, frame and this is the ending so now we need to adjust the ending which uh, needs to uh, adjust the end end frame to where we want to zoom okay so we want to zoom here and we can also change the size right here okay so that's is uh, zoom in in that uh, that part uh, let's play it so you didn't see anything, right? Because the zoom in effect is very slow. Uh, that is because of the duration. The duration of the video or image is too long. Then uh, the zoom in effect will be slow. Slowly zoom in. And now if we want to speed up, uh, speed up then we need to split uh, to shorten the duration. What I do that, uh, uh, you can click OK to go back to the timeline. Then I will stretch the timeline a little bit. Okay. we. We need to stretch out the timeline, so we calculate one. For example, uh, normally I would just uh, go about uh, 20 frame or or one second or, or something like that. Because the zoom in effect, I want uh, if I wanted to zoom fast, uh, I go like this. Uh, I select only one second. So this is the. I would choose right here. Okay, right here is about one second, almost one second. And then I, I split right here. Uh, let's see the, the zoom in effect. And click on that, click on the clip, and then go to uh, crop again and play. That's it, right? If you think it's fast enough, then you click OK. Go back to the timeline. And then uh, we have another clip with the uh, zoom and pan effect right here. We can see like it. If we play, if we play it, it also had a zooming effect, but uh, slow. And then we select it and go to crop uh, crop tool again. Okay, now I, I will call it crop tool, not crop uh, crop and zoom because <laughs> only crop. Okay. And now we see that uh, here's the zoom uh, zoom and pan effect, but we can click on this swap button. Okay, this is the button that uh, you can switch from end to start and start to end in Pimura Pan and Zoom. And we click on that, switch it, then select crop. So you select crop, then it will crop to the start, the start point. Okay, and select crop and click OK. Don't change anything, don't change the side uh, right here. Just click OK, right? And now we have the effect zoom in and to that area that area and stay on that area and continue okay and here is the effect right but that's uh, that in this area 
Then after we finish talking about something, then we want to uh, pan to another area on the screen. What should we do? Then also split the first options. Uh, the first uh, first thing you need to do split. Okay, click here to split. Then uh, select it. Go to crop crop tool again. Here is the crop. Okay, and now we click on pan and zoom. Okay, so now we have the end, end, uh, end area, so uh, we can adjust the end area. Uh, now it is uh, here to start uh, at the start point, and now it's end. And for example, I want to uh, to zoom in to pan. Sorry, I want to pan to this uh, this area. I can adjust the size. Uh, for example, right like this. Okay, and then we can click OK. To go back to the timeline and it also slow slowly pan to this area and then we need to adjust it again okay and click ok and we can go about one second so this is uh, five about one second i think i should go go right here okay and then we split it Split it here and select it. Go to crop tool again, and now we can play it to see to preview it. Okay. Oh, I think it's a little bit too fast. Uh, if so, we need to click OK and then press Ctrl Z to undo the action. Okay, Ctrl Z, and now we move the playhead to another position. Uh, a little bit longer I think okay and then select it and split now we can go to uh, select it and go to crop again and play to preview it oh okay uh, okay I think it's okay right and uh, click OK and now we need to se uh, select the clip next to it again and go to crop again uh, here is the effect, but now my uh, our screen is is right here, and we need to click on this button again, swap button, okay? And now it start here, and we go to crop, and now it crop right here, so it be uh, it stay uh, at this position, okay? And click OK, and now we go back to yes, now we go back to the beginning of the zoom uh, effect and now we look at the zoom and pan effect on the screen let's play it zoom in pan and okay supposing that uh, supposing that at this uh, position I want to go back to full screen then it's easy then uh, all we need is to split it and select the clip that we want to go full screen and go to crop tool again now we don't need to do anything, we just adjust the size. If we want to crop it, uh, I mean uh, from a small frame like this and you want to crop it to bigger, a bigger one. Or if you want to, to, uh, if you want to uh, have uh, the same pan and zoom effect and then you need to do the same action that I, I, just, uh, I just did, okay? Uh, for example, I want to uh, go pan and zoom action, uh, then I go to uh, end and then select it adjust it to full screen and click ok uh, now go go about one second or two seconds or something like that uh, one second to two second then select it and split it and then select the the clip next to it uh, go to crop and now we select uh, go click this button okay and select crop and now it's dropped to a full screen and click OK and now that's all finished everything is finished now we want to play to preview now we want to uh, preview everything that we just did OK So that's easy, right? Uh, I think this uh, is a 
just a small trick but there's still many there are many uh, many of you ask uh, us about this uh, this feature so I just want to uh, to show you uh, how to uh, do that because uh, I normally do many screen recording and also I like zoom and pan effect and that is uh, how you do it in Filmora if you want to do it in Active Presenter it's also very easy let's open Active Presenter now and this is a free program uh, I'm, cu I'm currently using a pro version but uh, you can use it for free uh, I, I'm not sure, I don't remember if this uh, zoom and pan effect is available in free version. Maybe yes, but uh, you will be watermark in your video. Let's open uh, my screen recording. And this is the example, just an example. Okay, Okay. in Active Presenter, it is easier. Uh, for example, uh, if I want to zoom into this part, I select it on the timeline, I go to insert and then uh, we have a zoom and pan uh, here we click on that and now we have uh, this is the area we want to zoom in okay let's uh, let's put it here we can also resize it resize it and move it uh, around the screen and here the animation control so if we want to uh, have it fast uh, keep it short if you want to uh, zoom in slowly then we can uh, just drag this uh, for example uh, just drag this uh, blue or this green diamond uh, this is slow okay uh, let's play it yeah this is slow just slowly zoom in but uh, it's a little bit lag because I use uh, so many uh, so screen recording software and Filmora and active presenter too many program at the same time so if we want to make it fast then we just shorten it uh, this is the animation control so it's very simple uh, this is short so it's zoom fast yeah and if we want to uh, pan it to the right or to the left or something like that we uh, can select the clip and then add another zoom and pan just add more and uh, we just drag to the the area we want to to zoom a uh, zoom and pan okay and at the end uh, if we want to uh, to zoom back to full screen add another zoom and pan and drag it to full screen and that's easy right this is the big uh, from the beginning it's uh, faster and easier than than what we we have to do in Fimura 9 but actually both are great okay so that's how how you do it in active presenter but if you don't want to do it uh, in another software than Fimura then just go, go ahead with Fimura it's okay yes okay thank you that is all the information I want to share with you in this tutorial. I think I, I hope it is helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.